Hot Mike does it again. I don't know who this Hot Mike is, but he does a great job in getting uh, sound that people don't want uh, us to hear. He always seems to be the guy who we are hearing stuff from that nobody wants to hear. Here is Senator Collins sitting next to uh, Senator Jack Reed. Jack Reed, Democrat from, uh, Rhode from Rhode Island. Senator Collins, obviously Republican from Maine. They're at a, some type of uh, subcommittee hearing. And at first they're referencing Representative Blake Farenhold. Can we put a picture of this guy up? Okay, first it's Trump being crazy. Okay, so first they talk about Trump being crazy and not in the like, hey, this guy loves to have fun type of way. You know, you say like, oh my God, Billy, he's crazy. Okay, what a weekend. No, it's not one of those deals. Um, and then they talk about Representative Blake Farenhold, who um, basically said that he wanted to beat up, here's an image of him, dressed in a ducky pajamas at what appears to be it's some type Playboy of... Playboy uh, Mansion. Oh, the Playboy Mansion. Okay. Next really? to Susan Collins. Right, next to Susan Collins. Oh. And um, just a really... Uh, a, and also, to be fair, I mean, I don't want this to be about how he looks. Uh, just as grotesque on the inside as one could ever imagine. Uh, just a horrible human being. Um, well, didn't we play a clip of him the other day being racist on uh, on Hayes thing? Or I, I can't remember. But he's horrible. He's garbage. horrible. And he said uh, he basically threatened Su Susan Collins. Said right? if she if she was a man, he would have challenged her to a duel. He would have challenged her to a duel. Okay. And uh, so uh, here they are. Here's Senator Collins with with Jack Reed. It's tricky to hear, uh, but I will uh, also uh, narrate some of this. This is crazy. I think he's crazy. I don't, I don't say that no, lightly life. and as a kind of, you know, a goofy guy. Uh, oh. <laughs> and, you know, the, uh, no, he can't. He's got this thing, he, you know, if we don't get a budget deal, I know. we're going to be paralyzed. DOD is going to be paralyzed. Everybody's going to be paralyzed. And he hasn't said anything. I, I don't even think he knows that there is a BC. Yeah, no. I really don't. He was down at the, the Ford Commissioning said, I want them to pass my budget. Okay, so we give them $54 billion. Then we take it away across the board with, of course, chaos right. and possible you know. oh, It's just. And he has a, not one word about the budget, not one word about the debt ceiling. Good point. Pause it. Okay, so they're talking about not one word about the budget. He hasn't uh, done anything about the budget, hasn't said one word about the uh, debt ceiling. Because, and I've uh, mentioned this the past couple of days, we're, there's going to be a crisis. There's going to be a crisis. Um, the, the lack of competence is going to come into play uh, in some of these crises. And it's worrying the Senate. You know, Jack Reed, theoretically, right, he's a Democrat. Man, if these guys screw up, that's fine with me. But they're worried. They're worried because this stuff isn't just fodder for a slate, ga a slate gab fest. There's actually real-world implications to this stuff. And uh, so here we continue. Good point. Do you know, we got Mulvaney saying we're going to put in all sorts of stuff uh, like a border wall. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then you got Munchen saying, oh, no, it's going to be clean. Right. That's what I said. We're going to back in September, and, you know, you're going to have crazy people in the house. Yeah. No, no, no. He's the one who challenged me to do it. I know. Trust me. You know why he challenged you to do? Because you could beat this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pause it. So, uh, so he's saying like there's crazy people in the house, and they're they're you know they're gonna they're gonna bring it uh, bring us to the brink. And she says, did you see about the one who challenged me to a duel? And of course, Jack Reed said, yeah, he, the reason why he challenged you to a duel because he knows you could beat the shit out of him. This is so, this is just the other thing is that this is so New England. Like, I love this right now. Jack Reed is the mo maybe the most, he's one of the most New England people in the Senate, for sure. Well, I would say. And he and Collins are just so crusty together right he here. He and uh, Whitehead. All right, go ahead. Oh, White House. Yeah. White House. Because you could beat the sh 
he is so, I don't mean to be unkind, but he's so unattractive at some point. I saw the, you know, do you see the picture of him in his pajamas next to this bunny? Boy, boy, bunny. Okay. There you go. I don't mean to be unkind, but he is unbelievably unattractive. What's that? She apologized. Yes, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. Uh, uh, Sam, I would like to circle back on the comments I made earlier about Blake uh, Farenthold. Okay, Are you feel ready? free. Yes. <laughs> we put this together, me and my staff. Do you know that Blake Farenthold is so ugly that when a group takes a picture, everyone hands him the camera? <laughs> What? Blake Farenthold is... Uh, when a group is, takes a picture, everybody hands him the camera. Be quiet, young man. Well, wait a second. Be quiet, middle-aged sure man. Wait, wait. When, when a so group he's takes the not, picture, they hand him so the camera? So that he's never in a group photo, Oh, I fool. see. I see. Okay. All, All right. right. Oh, That's wow. No wonder you're a failed comedian yes, in addition to looking like a tired lesbian. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Ah, I really enjoy this. I'm becoming an insult uh, comic. Yeah, Blake Farenthold is so ugly that when his mom dropped him off at school, she got a fine for littering. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say dumping. That actually could also work. Yeah. I could see that maybe Marin could hire you to punch, you up, punch a up a few scripts a just as long as you weren't the maid writer. Right, exactly. I thought you Blake. were walking this back, Senator. That was, is this not the statement? Uh, this is not what we're going with. <laughs> Though that statement, the apology is no longer operative. When Blake Farenthold looks in the mirror, the mirror catches his reflection and walks away. <laughs> God, that's really <laughs> super unattractive uh, to make a mirror walk away. <laughs> You've got to be really unattractive. If you want to know which sexual position produces the ugliest children, you have to ask Blade Farrell's mother. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's for now that's good, <laughs> thank actually. you for, yeah, that is and the only <laughs> thing that makes me think that it might not be as good as I thought it is is that you're saying it is a failed comedian right I, Jimmy Dore rocks fuck <laughs> all of you goodbye alternative uh, uh, punchline would that, that be any involving Blake Farenthold I thought that's what you were going to say <laughs> <laughs> that is actually even better that's better that is better alright well there it is so we got that walk back by uh Sarah Susan Collins. The era of the pajama boy is over. Over. The era of the pajama boy is over. Now it's all about the pajama man. <laughs> the boys are back in town. And she's the only one that voted against the motion, correct? Uh, no, you. also Lisa Murkowski. Oh, Lisa Murkowski. Okay, so there you go. So now I can, I'm almost fully... Between that and calling Farenthold unattractive, she is the only Republican in the country that I would give like a... Collins liberal women. Yes. Liberal, liberal women. women. <laughs> liberal women have infected the Republican caucus. Oh, let's should we should we do a little? Uh, if Blake Farenthold rush? ever wants to lose ten pounds of ugly fat, he could cut <laughs> off his head. I just wanted to add that one as well. <laughs> I mean, she is a talented woman. To be honest with you, I think like ten pounds. <laughs> it might be more. Uh, but without a doubt, <laughs> how much? Can we see the picture of that guy. The human head he weighs eight a, pounds. He is like quite literally a chowder head. The human head weighs eight pounds. That isn't Jerry Maguire. So every human head weighs not eight pounds. every human this head. Human, but this human head ain't eight pounds. That ain't eight pounds. We're going up two pa two whole pounds for this head. I would say sixteen pounds. Oh yeah, in terms of weight, he's he's uh, he's got. <laughs> Have we ever uh, done Gorka singing "The Boys Are Back in Town"? No. Ooh. Guess who just got back today? <laughs> Them wild-eyed boys <laughs> been away. that had been away. Haven't changed that much to say, but man, I still think them cats are crazy. <laughs> they were asking if you were around, how you was, where you could be found. 
Told him you were living downtown, driving all the old men crazy. You know, last time somebody said, I wonder if there's a, a picture of Gorka with his Mustang. There's got to be a video of Gorka air guitaring to the boys. Are Without <laughs> a doubt. He's pure air. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube abs have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.